Welcome back to Behind the Bolt with Nick Hardwick. It's time for the Fuddruckers 101. And before I introduce him, <laughs> we got to clear the air right now. I've been hearing people call you Jatavius Brown. Uh huh. But it's Jatavis. Jatavis. No, no, you in it. All right. So we got it all clear. Jatavis. Good. Done. <laughs> Charger fans out there wondering who's this fifth round pick out of Akron? He's flying all over the football field, leading the team in tackles. He got three sacks, got four passes defense, two huge forced fumbles. So, folks, here he is, Jatavis Brown. <laughs> hey, you're up for rookie of the week uh -huh. after that performance against the Denver Broncos. How's that feel? Oh, man, it's, uh, it's just cool. It's a, it's, a, it's a good feeling to have to know that guys uh, recognize the uh, performance I had last week. But do you recognize it? Uh, I could have I could have did some things better, but overall, it was a good game. We really? Got the win. You yep. could have done better? I could have done better. You had a huge finish to the game versus the Broncos. Uh -huh. You had that forced fumble. You had the sack. What was going on in your head before that all happened? Uh, somebody needed to make a play. You know, I always kind of talk to myself on the field. Come on, make a play. So I kind of was talking to myself, and the, and the plays happened. That's what it was? Just come on, come on, come yep. on. Had to get myself going. Do you spread the love with everybody of else? Of course. I'm always all, talking to everybody, walking around the huddle, just communicating with everybody, trying to keep everybody heads up. Yeah, keep them light. Is it light in the huddle? Are oh, you yeah. coming down on them? No, it's light. You know, I don't think I can come down on them yet. So you know, it's, it's kind of light. <laughs> Not yet, but that's Not coming. Yet. It's coming. It'll come in there every, few now, every now and then. Yeah? Yeah. Talk me through that sack. What was the call? Uh, it was a blitz uh, coach call, and, you know, I rarely blitz. So he, it, was a, it was a great blitz for him to call at the time, and I got home. What did you see? Two defense alignment pension, you looping around the uh -huh. edge. Freedom, you knew Freedom. you were home? You had to get home, had to get to it before he uh, released the ball. Do you get nervous at the end, like he's going to sidestep me, or you just trust your athleticism? I just trust my athleticism to go get him. I knew I had another guy coming around over top, so I, I, I just went for it. And you roared after that. Sack. Oh, yeah, that was all emotion and adrenaline coming out at one time. Just feels, what's it feel like? Is it super oh, awesome? Man, it's, it's great. It's an awesome feeling at that time of the game, and especially after the force fumble. Oh, it was an amazing feeling. Yeah, the force fumble. All right, so you got that one. Demarius Thomas coming across the middle. Uh -huh. Just good fundamentals. Well, what, what, talk me through the tackle. Uh, it, Is that overall, how you're taught? No, it's not how I'm taught. I kind of feel like I had my head down too much. But overall, it was a good, it was a good play, a good uh, square fit up. But I got to keep my head up on the play. But this is a nice way to put my head on the ball. But you put your, you found the ball. Yeah. Is that where you going for the ball? Or you're just going for the tackle. I was going for the tackle. Yeah. Yeah. And when did you know that the ball was on the ground? Um, I heard the crowd and I just heard everybody jumping up and down. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, as players, you've all got different skill sets. You've got different tools in your toolbox. Mm -hmm. What's the best tool that you've got in your box? My instincts and my speed. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. Speed. Speed. You got tons of that. A whole lot. You're of just that. absolutely <laughs> flying around the football field. Do you know when you're out on the field, do you feel faster than the other guys? Uh, I don't I don't think so, but I go watch film. I, I, I see it a lot. You do? Yeah. You see, you show up. Yeah. Because uh, I'm watching from the booth calling the game, and, I, and you are just flying mm -hmm. around. Right. But you just know. So as your greatest asset, even in the run game. Mm -hmm. So say you've got an offensive lineman coming right at you. Right. You're going to find a way to use your speed? Oh, yeah. I don't like to wrestle with those big guys. You know, I like to <laughs> use my speed and try to get past them. But if I have to, I use my strength. So there is speculation from the outside, of course, not from you. But when you came in here, when they drafted you, uh -huh. you're not very big. How big are you? Right. I'm about five, six, barely six foot, 225. 225 playing yeah. middle linebacker in the middle NFL. Line. There's speculation that everyone's going, Jatavis might be a safety. You, uh -huh. you look around the league and you see safeties playing linebacker, right? You got Dayon Buchanan, you got Cam Chancellor, you got Mark Barron. Mm -hmm. Are you setting a trend of smaller linebackers that just, you're just a linebacker? I'm just a linebacker. You know, I, I think it's, I'm a good example of don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge somebody by their size. Just just look at the tape and the, his ability to come in and contribute. A tape shows it all, doesn't it? Tape speaks for itself. All right, speaking of tape, there's a lot of comments coming out of Charger Park about your work ethic. Not on the football field. We know you work hard there. We know you work hard at Qualcomm. But we're hearing the amount of hours you spend right. studying film. How crucial is that? Uh, film is, all, is a huge part of my game. You know, I feel like I got to get a step on the offense. I got to figure out what they trying to do, what they trying to do to me and what they do what they do best. And are you spending extra time with Pagano after, oh, yeah. after Coach, hours? Yeah, after Coach Pads, Coach Babbage. I spend time with AP, Adrian Phillips, safety. Yeah. So we hang out a lot going over film. 
What, how'd you learn that that's what you were supposed to do as a professional? Oh, I kind of, I, I've been doing it my whole life. I did it in college, so I just kind of try to keep up my habit. It got me here, so I'm going to continue to do it. Does it help? It's, oh, yes. It helps a whole lot. I mean, lot. all those extra hours? All really, those extra hours pays off. Have you tried to rally the troops? Of course, but, you know, some guys, they got a, a, a schedule that they stick to, and I respect that. All right, you said that you weren't surprised at the success you've had mm -hmm. as a rookie. You're a fifth rounder out of a MAC conference football team. Where's all your confidence come from? You know, I put in the work, like like you said, I put in the work. I, I, I'm very confident in myself. I'm confident in what, and, I, and the coaches believe in me, and I believe in the coaches. So, you know, I just I just feel like I put in the time and effort that, that and it's finally showing. So you put in that time and effort on the back end, uh -huh. so you know, show up game day. Yes. Things are going to unfold yep. the way you plan on oh, them yeah. too. Unbelievable. Who do you model your game after? Uh, Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis. Yeah, I'm a combination of both of those guys. Do you? You know Ray was a big boy now. Yeah. I remember hitting Ray right in the chest, and oh, I felt like I lost <laughs> an inch and a half. Oh, yeah. He was coming one year, he was about 260. Uh-huh. Just heavy. Oh, man. So yeah. what about Patrick Willis? Speed. Yeah? yeah? He flies to the ball. Yeah. Could never catch that. <laughs> I know you looked at some Atlanta Falcons film already. Uh -huh. What do you guys have to do to slow down Matt Ryan in this number one ranked Atlanta Falcons? I'll say we got to uh, make him one dimensional, you know, stop the run or stop the pass. Mostly stop the run because the, uh, the run set up the pass, so we have to stop the run. Big time play action pass unit too, uh -huh. first and second down. Yep, we got to be uh, disciplined with our eyes and, you know, we got to pick up on tendencies that they do to give away the, the, pat, the uh, play action. Boot action teams mm -hmm. like this is Kyle Shanahan, offensive coordinator, got it from Mike Shanahan, Denver Broncos type offense. What kind of challenges does that present? Uh, we got to be disciplined, our discipline, you know, we got to be able to uh, get, out, get out in our drops and, and get depth in our drops and stuff like that. Talk about Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman at running back. Those guys are, uh, are great running backs. You know, they, they can catch the ball out of the backfield. They can line up a receiver. They can do it all. So we have to get those guys under control. What makes them so difficult to defend? Like I said, they're a matchup problem for most most teams. You know, they, they like I said, you can line them up at receiver. You can line them up. You can swing them out the backfield. They can run the ball. So it's, it's a lot of things that they can do. You got to have a big game? Oh, yeah. We all got to have a big game yeah. on defense. Yep. It takes it all. 0-3 on the road this season. What's the difference between winning on the road and winning at home? I'll say uh, finishing, you know, and, and the fact that we're away, we got to uh, – we got to do all the little things right. We can't, you know, give them opportunity to stay in the game and get their crowd into the game. Good luck this weekend.